Hi there, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network. It was on this day that Hamilton received enough snow to make it the snowiest single day on record, 30 and a half centimeters. This also qualified it for being the fourth snowiest day for any month on the calendar. And because the city of Hamilton for the entire month of February normally only sees 35 centimeters of snow anyway, it's almost safe to say that they received an entire month's worth of snow on this one day in weather history. So what happened? It was the blizzard of February 2007, and it affected most of North America, especially central Midwest all the way through to the east. It was snow to the north and thunderstorms to the south. It got started on February 12th and wrapped up on Valentine's Day. That's not fair, is it? The storm produced heavy snowfall through the American Midwest from states Nebraska to Ohio to parts of the northeast United States and, of course, on into Canada. To the south, not really a huge part of the story, but still something that must be mentioned, it was within the warm sector that came up from the Gulf of Mexico, and that just drummed up severe thunderstorms and several tornadoes that were reported. The National Weather Service of the United States determined that this storm was one of the three largest of its kind to ever hit inland areas of the northeast United States, dating back to 1940. So what did it bring with it? Overall, heavy snow, strong wind, whiteout conditions from southwest Ontario Windsor to southeast Ontario Cornwall, almost at that much of uh, the uh, Quebec border, and wedged in between Hamilton. Somehow Toronto got off scot-free, but there were several delays and cancellations at Pearson Airport from the storm that happened this day in weather history.